Very quick intro. Go to the store, buy a torchlight for light painting, I'll explain. Buy a new microphone for my camera and find a way how to explain to my girlfriend why I need yet a third microphone. Light painting is basically taking a long shutter speed photo in, in a dark place and you paint with the torchlight, you paint the light where you want it to be. Now here are some examples of very creative light painting scenes. However, I'm going to use that for nighttime or astrophotography. I'm gonna use the light painting to kind of bring out the foreground and give it that kind of soft, um, soft feel to it and now behind will be the stars. However, I've never done that before, so today if I have the time um, and if we skip until, until the end of the video, you'll probably see um, if I did it or not. But if I have the time today, I'm gonna go out and do some kind of a test run with the light painting thing, you know, just try it out. And for the microphone, I need a better microphone to kind of get rid of all the noise around when I'm, you know, recording. If you saw yesterday's vlog, you saw that there was a lot of noise everywhere and I wanna kind of minimize that. Also, I wanna maybe reduce the echo if I'm recording indoors so that I don't have to always use the Rode Wireless Go with the with the lavalier mic. Uh, so yeah, and I think it's just, I mean, it's for you guys. It's, it's, it's to make a better sounding video. Um, I will do a check, a very fast review and an unboxing of the microphone and just you know test it out and compare it to the sound with with uh, the other mics that I have uh, and then later on when I will use it for a little while I'll do a proper review so yeah anyway that's the plan I'm headed to our capital uh, in a crowd so hopefully I will be there soon so you know when you drive half a country away to get to a store where they sell microphones and then they don't have it. It says on the internet they're supposed to have it, they don't have it. So I should have called before, you know how stupid I feel. And what I'm gonna do about the sound and all the, all the echoes. All the all echoes, the echoes man. man. Anyway, the second item I have to buy today is a strong, very strong torchlight for light painting. Uh, so I guess they have this here since it's a, it's a big shopping mall, a big shopping center of our capital city. I have to uh, first find a store maybe, you know, on, on the phone where they actually have that because I don't wanna go, you know, store to store. I think I have to find an army shop to get those big ass, you know, police standard torchlights which just light up the whole the whole scene. No, I guess I'll find what I'm looking for here. Apparently it's locked. Okay. You know this is turning to be a very bad day. I've planned the whole video out. Um, now I can't get the microphone and apparently I can't get the, the flashlight, so now this could have been a very beautiful and awesome photography day. Instead I'm here at the busiest place in the country shopping for things that um, nobody actually has. So I'm gonna give it one last try in there and hopefully, you know, there's another army shop in there. I hope it's open and they're actually selling flashlights. So three closed army shops and a video store which doesn't have the microphone that I want. So I think this video, although I've planned everything, you know, just went out the window. But I'm gonna explain light painting anyway and why I need the really big torch light to um, light up the scene. I'm gonna do this in this example. I'm gonna take a photo of this toy car and I'm gonna light the scene using my cell phone's LED. Now this is a small point light, small kind of spotlight on the car and if I just keep it at one position and take a long exposure shot, so 20 seconds, 25 seconds in a really dark room uh, with an f-stop of 22, so to get the most um, stuff in focus. I get an image that looks like it's been lit up, you know, it's been lit up by a spotlight. It's, you know, harsh shadows, really harsh highlights, and it just, it doesn't look that nice. But if you move the light around and you light the subject from one side and then from the other side and then from the back side and the other side, and you can take multiple shots lighting only the one, the one side first and then the other side and then one in the back. Well, then I end up with an image that looks like the toy car was lit up by a really big soft box and this is really awesome for product photography and what I'm planning to do is astrophotography, you want to take a beautiful photo of the landscape and you need some something in the foreground, some tree, some bush, something. This way you can light it up with a really soft light and the goal of this is you can actually control the light. You can light up one side, light up the other side and then put all the images together in Photoshop and just 
you know, arrange the light the way you want it to be. So when I get the big light, I will do a video on um, light painting in the night and hopefully some star photography. I'll have to wait until the moon goes, you know, we're halfway full moon and you know, for astrophotography, there shouldn't be any moon on the sky. Subscribe, like, comment, question. I will do the review on the microphone when I get it. I'll do like a fast review you know, on the spot, compare the microphones and then do the whole review later on. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh,